Emma Little Pengelly. The word tonight is that the Prime Minister is prepared to accept that we stay in the customs union. That's a problem for the Tories. I'll come to that in a minute. But that Northern Ireland should stay in the single market, whereas the rest of the Great Britain, Great Britain wouldn't. Would the DUP accept that? Well, no. Uh, we've been very clear on all of this. Um, the most important single market to us, the most important customs union to us, is the United Kingdom. Uh, we trade, the vast, vast majority of our trade is within the United Kingdom. A lot more and than North Ireland. A lot more. In fact, uh, our trade with the rest of the United Kingdom is greater than our trade with the Republic of Ireland, with the European Union, and the rest of the world all put together. So that's how important this single market, the single market of the union is to us. And this proposal would sever that. And that is of deep concern to everybody within the DUP. And my understanding is your concern is that over time, if Great Britain is out of the single market and it goes its own regulatory way, but Northern Ireland remains in the single market and will carry on cover, following the rules that Brussels set, the, the Irish Sea gets wider and wider. That's what you don't like, right? Well, that's one of the issues with it, but there are many, many problems that we foresee with this. Um, of course, if the rest of the United Kingdom has the ability to diverge in terms of regulation, that inevitably will happen over the next number of years. But the critical one, regardless of what we have heard and, and how it's sugar-coated in terms of the discussions here, uh, it, from the European Union side, they've been very frank, uh, that if oh. this is the case, Northern Ireland cannot participate in any new trade deals that the rest of the United Kingdom would actually uh, try to strike. Uh, that was the, the big opportunity in terms of Brexit. I sit on the International so, Trade Select Committee, so, so it's you wouldn't quite be existential part of that I, Northern I mean, Ireland would be completely... Am I right in thinking that what I'm, whereas the, the, the British government has been kind of, to use your phrase, sugarcoating uh, uh, what might happen... Mr Barnier was quite blunt when he met the DUP leader this week. Well, he has been blunt. He made it absolutely clear that under this arrangement, Northern Ireland would not be, be able to participate in free trade deals. Um, to us, this is not the best of both worlds. In fact, we think it's the worst of both worlds. So it's a deal breaker for you? It's, it, it is a deal breaker because of the fact that you know, Northern Ireland trade relies so heavily on the UK single market. Okay. This is a deep fraction, not just for the union. It's got significant constitutional implications on all of that. But from an economic and business point, of view, this simply doesn't make any sense and there's huge right. risks and huge dangers for Northern Ireland. You'd have thought that okay. uh, the Prime Minister would have cleared up some of this stuff in terms of securing your long-term support when she gave you the giant financial bung, wouldn't you? Well, we made it clear in the Confidence and Supply that that arrangement was fundamentally about supporting the government to deliver a Brexit that strengthened the union. And strengthening the union also includes what is good for the entire of the United Kingdom and good for business across the United Kingdom. This we so do long, not believe that this, this is, is the case. This was so obvious that this was going to come long term because the border was always going to be mm. between uh, Britain and Ireland. That was clearly going to be but, how but this you, was going to pan out. But you want, the Scottish National Party now wants Scotland to stay in the single market and the customs union. We want, we, we want the United Kingdom to stay in the European Union. No, yeah, but you lost that referendum. We lost the referendum. Yeah. A bit. So, so that, that's, that's clear. The Scottish national position is that you want to stay in the single market. Scotland yeah. should stay in the single market. No, we want the United Kingdom. Yeah, but you can't get that. But failing that, as I understand it, Mrs. St Ms. Sturgeon, Nicola Sturgeon is saying that... Scotland should stay in the single market. But we know that's not going to happen. I mean, that's, I mean it's clearly... Because that would mean a border, wouldn't yeah, it's it? it's clearly not going to happen. That would mean a border. Yes, and I don't think it'll happen. I don't think it's the slightest But prospect. I thought that's what your conference was arguing I don't, for. But, well, I hold no position in the party. So you ask me my view, and my view is there's no prospect whatsoever okay. of Scotland unless it's independent being in the single market it, uh, of the customs In other union. words, you can't have England leaving it and Scotland... I don't well, think. in a sense, that's the same position as the DUP. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't well, like, I don't. I don't <laughs> particularly like to be. I don't really like to <laughs> be uh, words, parcelled Tom. with the. Uh, no, I'm. But what bit of my sentence is wrong? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, our arguments are for independence. That's what our arguments are for. You know, the, D, yeah. the DUP is the DUP, and I don't see. Right. Common, I, think I don't it, see it, common cause probably, with the DUP. Um, it's probably important to point out as well that actually Scotland's biggest market is the rest of the United Kingdom. Not the European Union. Yeah, well, but that, Mrs May has so always said there'll be... So if there was a land border or a different always, regime, there's going to be issues. That would Mrs. Be one May has always promised, Mrs May has always promised a triumphant uh, deal that will have the minimum amount of disruption in trade right. in the island of Ireland. All right. And of course, if she can do that with the European Union for Ireland, we can get the same deal long term. Okay. But it must so be he, good for the United Kingdom. Uh, let me bring... Uh, 
But you also have to be careful, don't you, because the DUP hardly wants a Corbyn government. Well, ultimately, uh, we have to consider this issue within the context of the Fixed uh, Term Parliament Act. I think that that brings some other aspects to this that perhaps traditionally hasn't been the case. Um, so there are, a number, there are a number of issues, but we've been clear, regardless of that type of issue, we will not support a bad deal for Northern Ireland. We will not support a bad deal for the United Kingdom. And we're not going to support anything that weakens the union. And, what I've and the Prime Minister needs is, to be, and I hope she is, very, very clear about What that. I've described tonight which is my understanding of the direction the government's going, you would regard as a bad deal? Yes. There's some talk tonight that there may be more money for you. Uh, even more. Dangled, even but, more. But I think there Not as much as Scotland gets, going, but even but, more. But, but in, uh, in a way, it's almost uh, insulting. It's almost insulting to yes, say that. Is. Because ultimately, this is much bigger than yes. um, the party. It is much bigger uh, than um, money. It, 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 this is fundamentally about... The union, what's good for the union, what's good for the United Kingdom. I think it was always and, and going even, to come to this. I think just because it's it's about a choice. It's never been okay. a negotiation. Except of course yeah. you don't but speak. Options, except of course yeah. you don't. But it's important is, to remember you don't speak for Northern Ireland because yeah. Northern Ireland but, but voted do, to remain. But we do speak for a significant number of people in Northern Ireland. A minority. And I think the key thing here is ho all hope is not lost. There are options, and I think the Prime Minister needs to look at those options and not to play. She is dancing, uh, as it were, by the beat of the European drum. They have tried to narrow this down to. Uh, number of options, two options, both of them are bad for the United Kingdom. You're just being confronted by the reality uh, the of Brexit. So look at other okay, options. On I this think that, uh, that's key, key superb example of Celtic solidarity here, <laughs> uh, we'll move on. I thank you both.